Welcome to Frico Plays God Mode Total War Rome 2. Epirus Faction Episode 32, the Europe Campaign. This is part 14 of the European, European Campaign. The Battle of Cartuba. In this episode, Frico faces his penultimate challenge to ending his choice in Europe. Cartuba. Will he have a quick victory that enables him to end Europe once and for all? Or will Europe live another season more? <clears throat> We're looking out at the highest hills here of Cartuba. And let's just uh, see if we can go down there. You just, uh, you know, you just, you wake up and you <coughs> walk on up. You do what you do, you know, you're a little scavenger kind of guy. Just uh, coming into Kartuba, you know, you usually got some people and there might be some work, whatever, kind of skirmish. Skirmish in on here, nobody really notices, you know. You, you live out there in the woods somewhere, but you come in every once in a while because they got some good stuff in here that you want, so you come in for that just a little while and you sneak on in until you find a place to blend and, and you're like, whoa, where is everybody? Like, nobody's here. <clears throat> Usually there's some people walking around right now. Like, what's up with that? What's going on, man? What's up? Yo. Anybody there? Hello? Nobody? Holy crap, what's going on, dude? Just walking along. All right, there's the wall there. Uh, yeah. No problem. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got in the water there, man. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, hey, I do that every time, every time, every time. Hey, whoa, what the heck is up there? All right, <clears throat> there we go. And then it starts to dawn on you as you walk into the town, the citadel, whatever you're the, the, the settlement. <clears throat> Vying to one day become a, 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 an actual city. Look at this. I mean, they're on it. They're, they're working. They're building some impressive stuff here. This is it an impressive community? They got some organizations. They got skills. They got skills. But then, you go out here. And see, this is where their problem really begins. Because once they go out here... Get on up here, creep across the wall there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Just a little bit. Creeping. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is not a good sight. I'm not going to lie. That is not a good sight. And that's the sight that you look out to see. Oh, boy. Now, from our perspective, <laughs> Well, we got a raid. We got ourselves our heavy onagers. Now, this setup is... We've got our infantries in front to do the job of uh, defending. We got our archers to clean up people as they get closer. And we got our flanks here, which uh, might be moving up and might be just in case there's anybody on the sides that appear guarding. And what we have is we got a lot of uh, <coughs> support coming up. But they're way, 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 way back. Way back, you see? Way back. You see them a little bit, you see a little... Yeah, they're way back there, so... It's going to be a little bit before they get here. So what we have to do is we have to keep shelling... We're looking to take out their towers and uh, maybe parts of their walls and target the troops. So that's our strategy. And this is possibly the, the penultimate battle of Europe. To end that stupid choice crap. And Choice is not needed, folks. Come on. How many times? There I go. There I am. <sighs> All right. Let's go. I have come to battle like my forefathers in the expectation of victory. We will go over those walls and into their streets and homes. 
we will leave nothing but tears. Make ready. Wow, look at that. All right. And we're firing. What do you guys got for that? You got nothing. Take up your horns. The fires of hell descend upon your your precious, vulnerable, fragile skulls. The illusion of your greatness comes to a bitter end. A bitter end. And now, what do we have here? Another opportunity. Many things. And here we go. And here is the barrage. Oh ho ho! That is too bad for you guys. This is what you call just softening up the enemy. We're just, just get warmed up, kids. You know, I put the fire on for you guys because it, it's way cooler with the fire. And it just is going to be fire, but it does affect your accuracy. But that's... Oh, yes! Now we may consider our moves. Are we going to be moving anyone here? Yet? We still stay still. Oh, we got, we got some troopers. So we're getting some people from the reserves that are already showing up. Basically, the cavalry will get here first. But we have a lot of other ground troops that we want that are still very much... Wait. Oh, you guys have not been moved up. What's up with that? Not sure what's going on there. Okay, so we got a whole cab unit that uh, somehow got missed, and that's not good. Anyway, as you can see, our guys are moving up. Maybe we'll go for a ride with one of these just a little bit and riding in. <coughs> so these guys are just marching to the battlefield up ahead. They don't even fully know where they're at yet. I mean, this is still... I don't know what they can process so far. Hey, you're stopping. That's good. So, yeah, they're just marching through stupidly, so no rhyme or reason. I just, you just have to baby walk them through, I guess. Uh, they'll go through areas like the forest where they could have easily just all went around. But, uh, you know, that's what we're dealing with. So we're, 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 we're kind of just really wanting our guys to get up. And now we're going to get these guys up and position so we're considering making our first moves and we're about ready to see if, if we if we if we get this wall down we may just be charging forward that's a good shot there that's a wonderful beautiful shot of of the power and the fury and oh what we're really doing is targeting the troops we really want to get them troopers and we're we're knocking out a lot of troopers by hitting these walls I'm, I'm thinking of trying some different things with these earthworks things where I, I do have like massive amounts of catapults. So like if I have all just catapults and ground defenses and then <coughs> nothing but horse horses in reserve so I can bring my horses up because they can come up pretty fast. And we're just bombing stuff, man. Hey, they're shooting at us. I don't like that. I don't like that. And just waiting for the rest of our guys to get up. And we're in position in case those... We're, we're not looking to knock the walls down, but if they do, we want to make sure these guys are there because we don't want these guys, those guys to be able to come out from outside their city. We prefer them to be right back where they are. So from their perspective, look at, look at them. This is what's happening to them. I mean, this is what they're experiencing.
Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Got some distance on these buddies. Wow, distance. Let's uh, shorten the range there because I think we... Uh, wow. These guys have been killed by artillery fire. So that's, that's the effectiveness of artillery. So how many troopers are already dead? And we haven't even injected ourselves. We haven't entered into them yet. Dang. That is some fires, some fires, some fires. Or are we charging? No. Nope. Looks like we're making moves though. Well, we got the more of these units. You see, we're getting our units up. So they are getting here. <clears throat> and we're so we're still just. And they're just firing on us. And we're just, whoa. I think, I think we finally had enough of that. Let's let's hit these guys. Let's get them stop. Stop. Stop shooting at us. Yeah, stop shooting at us. We're done with this. Don't like this. Very patient. We're trying to be very patient in this affair. We're decent. And there we go. Now we're in. Just like that. Now we're going for it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll take this gate. I'll take this gate. Come on, buddies. Come on. Come on, horse spies. Look at them flooding in now. I'll tell you one thing, the gates are pretty much invincible. Not even sure why I'm still firing on the gates, you know better. I have destroyed gates before, but they're difficult. You almost have to be, yeah. Especially these types of games, for some reason. For reasons. Oh, wow. I mean, that is just a beautiful cascade, though. What a beautiful light show. What a beautiful light show. Yeah. We softened them up quite a bit before we ever even... Before we ever even got in here. And still, look at them. And we still have... Our, look at all these reserves still coming up. The reserves are still coming up. And we still haven't used these guys. Haven't needed them. Whoa, you guys are all the way up here, huh? Let's see what these guys are doing. Oh, oh. Hey, you're up your horse. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Man, not good. Come on, men. Get forward. It's a frenzy. It's a frenzy. They're the bad guys. Those are the bad guys. It's chaos. It's chaos. That's quite a view. Dun. Oh, that guy took a fall. Come on, guys. Beat him back. Beat him back. Don't let him do this to us. Charge forward. 
guess we're not charging anymore. All right, let's see what else is going on. What are what are our catastrophics doing? Oh wow, that's that that's a that's massively. Okay, now everyone's coming in. Okay. Oh yeah, now everybody's pouring in. Now the mass. This is all the reserves that have now come up. They're the ones that are now being directed right in. They're just. So our defensive guys and all that, they're still in their positions. And they're just there to guard. That That's what they're there for. And then the reserves are the ones that come in. Outside of our general, there's a couple of units that, that initially also went in. But uh, mostly, it's the reserve units that, that came rushing in. And look at that range. These, these, these. These catapults are pure beautiful. Yes, yeah, so so effective, all the way up to here. I mean, just unbelievable. Wow, what a nice spray. Just lighting things up. Oh, there's less and less of them. Oh, and now they're going to hit them here. Can't even hide here. Ah, oh, beautiful. And there you go. And that is the end. Well, it's not the end of Europe, but it is the end of Kartuba. But we want to give you your payoff because you deserve it. So we're going to do that. We are going to... There we go. Because, you know, I'm a decent human being and I believe in the power of the people. And uh, I believe in your fundamental right to be able to see the condensed visual masterpiece that will make you capable of enjoying the fruit of your vicarious labor. You deserve it because you're the best. Cause you're the best on earth. Never gonna let it on to die. You're the best on earth. Oh, right in the throat. All right. And that's the death of you. Faction destroyed. So let's let's, uh, let's load up where we're at now. We're here now. So I let you know the situation now. We have moved our troops. I did this off uh, camera, you know, for, for good reasons. And we have moved our troops into position. Myself and my, my heir, apparent, Alexander. We have moved on down to uh, Ibora. Just give you, just give you a little sense of uh, what we're doing there. So we've got... Uh, 2600 2700 thereabouts uh, enemy forces against our 3000 and this is another situation where we're going to find ourselves well we'll get on that later this is what we're going to see in the next episode of Frico Plays God Mode this has been Total War Rome 2 Epirus Faction episode 32 this is the Europe Campaign Part 14, the Battle of Cortuba. Coming up next, it's going to be the Battle of Ebora. <laughs>